Hi, and welcome back to NCTV's tutorial on how to edit using Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to work with still images and titles in your video sequence. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a JPEG file that I have that's basically the title card to this video that I have. So I'll just go into my project here, it's in my Cine Institute folder, and I just drag and bring it in with all my other assets, same way you bring in a video file. Um, and it shows up up here. I've actually imported it twice, but um, you know, so if you just double click it, it'll show up in your viewer and you can just grab it from the viewer and bring it in. And now you'll see once it gets into the timeline here that its scale is way off. It's, it's far too large uh, resolution wise for my sequence. So if I just double click it in the timeline and then press shift five, it takes me to the effect controls window. And this is the window that you use if you wanna make any basic scale adjustments or any basic motion. It's all done through this effect controls window. So if I just click the motion button here, it allows me to just grab and move my, my image or um, if it was smaller, I could actually grab the corners of it and adjust the scale. But since it's so large, I can't even see the borders. Since that's the case, I'm just gonna do this drop down arrow here. And then if I just go to scale, I can just slide it down and get it the size that I need. So it looks like if I, if I do 50%, it should be good. It's a little large, so yeah, 48 is perfect. There we go, I've scaled it. And you know, you, I can just grab and move it whenever this wireframe is around it. Um, you can manipulate it. So you can grab the sides and if you wanna just adjust um, portions of it. So now that I have my still in there, um, it just works just like a video layer does in that once it appears, it'll go full screen when I'm just playing my video. And then once it's over, it'll just disappear. So I can still add cross dissolves if I wanna fade it in. If you wanna put like a slow like Ken Burns effect or something on it, you can also do that through this video effects section of your effect controls window. Everything is done through keyframes. So if you just click it and you drop down this scale here, you'll see when I zoom into this picture file here, there's this little FX button. And if I click that, uh, since we're gonna be adjusting the scale and I go to scale, you'll see that if I add a keyframe, which I do by just going to this scale button and pressing the stopwatch, you see that this little keyframe appears on the timeline here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another one, which is now done right here. And you just click this button. Now I have two keyframes and I can jump to my keyframes using these arrows here. So go left, go right. That way you can be exactly on a keyframe if you need to make any adjustments later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a slow zoom in on this, um, just so you can see what the effects control window is capable of. So if I just say that I want it to start at 49% because that's when my screen is actually full, and then I go to my next keyframe and I just bump that up to say 56, you'll notice that when I press play, it does that zoom, right? It's a really quick zoom. So if I wanna make it look really clean, I can just take this keyframe that's appeared here and just slide it over. Do that, slide this over. And now when I play it, it does this really slow zoom. And then if I fade it out, we get this really kind of nice intro to the, the title card. Probably want this at the very beginning and not have any video under it. So I'm just gonna track select, slide everything over and move my still to the beginning and maybe put my cross dissolve over the video. It fades into it. So we start on black, fade up, have this title card, and then it fades into the video. So that's how you work with a still. And we're going to actually add a title before this still comes in. In order to do that in Premiere, what you have to do is you have to go up to this top here and click title and go to new title and then go to default still. You can see you could do a roll or a crawl if you're doing credits, but we're just gonna be doing a, a still image here and you can call it whatever you want. Title one is fine for us and it's 1080 resolution, so we're good. And so when we open this up, very simple window that has text, you can build shapes, uh, you can change the color of things. I'm on my text tool here and I'm just gonna click and say, and psychic community television presents. And then if I just go to my arrow here, I can do all the same things that I could do in a word processor as far as paragraph formatting and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna center it. I'm gonna move it down to the middle by just grabbing it. The font really isn't what we use here at the station. We usually use like an Arial font or something like that. So we're just gonna put it on that. Here we go. So there's Arial. Just in order to brand it a little bit, I'm gonna highlight Nantucket Community Television. And going over here to the color, I'm gonna give it our green that we 
like to use. So that's that's good. Now we have our brand going and it says presents. Maybe we'll make presents a little bit smaller. So I just grab that and go up to my scale. I'll just lower it and then just give myself a little bit more distance between the letters. And so I'm good. That's really all I need for this still. So you can do presets down here. You can put a background on it or something if you want it to be on a different color. So when you're done, uh, the strange part is that you just close it. It automatically saves. So it, once you close it, you just come down into your bin here and here it is, title one. I can double click it and I can make changes. So it never goes anywhere, but we're just gonna physically grab it and bring it in. So here it is, and then it goes into our still from there. I'd probably just put a little fade on it, fade from black, have it come in, and then we'll just fade into the still from there. So that's all we're going to go over for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about effects in Adobe Premiere and the effect control window, we'll be going over that in our next tutorial in more depth. Hopefully you found this helpful, and we'll see you again on our next tutorial.